Hello everybody, this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitation in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about is this the best time to be fat? Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. As many of you know, I was morbidly overweight and kept it off for 30 plus years. Also, if you want to buy some tea, there's a link for my tea store in the episode notes. All right, is this the best time to be fat? I know this is a strange question and, and Ideally, we don't want any obesity. Obesity, we know, shortens your life expectancy. It leads to social stigma. The social stigma, maybe not as much as it was in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, or even before that, where there were very few overweight people. If you go even further back in centuries past, it was a, an honor to be obese because it showed that you had enough money to buy food to get fat. But uh, in the more recent history of the last 100 years, uh, it's not too fashionable to be fat. So you could say there's a resurgence of that uh, with, with the morbid obesity. So we have about 75% of Americans are overweight, 40 to 45% are obese, meaning 75% of Americans are 20 pounds overweight or less, and then 45 or 20 pounds or more, and that number is growing, growing, and growing. So again, this shortens your life expectancy, a lot of problems with this, leads to comorbidity of diseases, and we don't want overweight people, even your enemies. We don't want your enemies to be overweight. So is this the best time to be overweight? And I would tell you probably yes, because if you were overweight, let's say in the 1960s, you didn't really have much options. But today, you just the only option you had was maybe don't eat as much, work on your childhood trauma, but even that kind of therapy was not really talked about back then, but definitely move more, work out more, eat less. But in my 1960s, there was no high concepts of gyms and exercising. The concept of the workout gym really started in the late 70s and that really is due to like pumping iron and Schwarzenegger and all those types of gyms and then eventually spread uh, when exercising got more prevalent in the 80s and 90s and then you see the proliferation of all these gyms. But in the 1960s if you were overweight there was no gym and you had less options. What do you have today? I d definitely don't recommend it. We have four episodes on it but Ozempic and Ozempic related drugs you have that should be side effects, a lot of problems with it, but you have that option. You have bariatric surgery, you have that option. We've had that for about 30 years. There can be complications, there could be issues with it, but you have that option. We have the knowledge of intermittent fasting or longer fasting and the benefits of that vis-a-vis -vis weight loss. So you, that's in the zeitgeist. So those three things in themselves can all be incredible biohacks for you to use to lose weight. So yes, I would say this is the best time to be overweight, but the best thing is, don't get overweight in the first place. And if you're overweight, work on it. We have tons of videos here on how to, how to deal with the underlying psychological reasons. And also, if you have children, you definitely don't want them to, to be overweight. So make sure that they don't go down the road that maybe you went. So. Guys, post in the comments if you agree or disagree. This is the best time to be fat. Until next time, take care. God bless. Pray.